Why, hello. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So, as you guys know, I am a K-pop simp. simp. I love K-pop so freaking much. But honestly, 90% of the rest of the music I listen to is heavy rock, grunge, or metal. And someone commented, I don't remember who it was, I'm so sorry, but someone commented on one of my videos saying, Cammy, you need to react to baby metal. And I was like, what the fuck is a baby metal? <laughs> but I looked them up and oh my god, okay, technically they're, they are not K-pop, they are J-pop, they are Japanese pop metal. Literally, if you look up what is baby metal, which I did, because I've never listened to baby metal before, it says, baby metal is a Japanese kawaii metal band. J-pop, kawaii, and metal, those are three things I never thought would go together, so I am so excited to react to them, listen to baby metal for the first time today. Wait, their most popular song is called Give Me Chocolate. Wait, their third most popular song is called Headbanger with Six exclamation marks. Oh my god, this is for the girlies! Okay, so I'm gonna start with Gimme Chocolate, and also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I used to be a hardcore metalhead. Like, I used to only listen to heavy metal, so like, I'm gonna be a little judgmental of this to see, is is it heavy metal? Is, is it cheesy? Let's see. So let's go, wait a minute. I forgot to tell you guys that I just recently put out a song. If you have ever felt like a hot mess, like you just don't have your shit together, and like you just wanna, <laughs> This song is for you. It's called Hot Mess, and that's why I wrote it, because I was feeling like an absolute hot mess. Maybe if you like this, you might actually like my music, so go check it out. And also, follow me on Spotify while you're at it. Peace. Okay, let's listen to some baby metal. It sounds weird, baby metal. Like, I'm imagining babies just screaming. <laughs> Give me chocolate. I cannot get over that title. Okay, let's go. I mean, it's motherfucking metal, all right. I mean, I haven't heard them scream yet. I really hope they're gonna scream, like, proper rough vocals. That guitar, when it kicks in, and they have proper, like, metal drums and everything? Okay, ladies! But I was so thrown off because this has gone so hard so far, but they're just, like, in these tutus, and they also look so young. How old are these girls? Oh my god, I'm so confused. But I think I like it. <laughs> Stunned to speak. I don't even know what to say. I did not expect them to sing like that. I was expecting some heavier vocals. I hope heavier vocals come in, but I also kind of like like how different the track is from the vocals. I think that's so unique. I'm so confused right now. Let me keep listening. <laughs> song this is super similar which one came first did poppy or baby metal come first <laughs>
just a little like are they they look so happy like I have not seen them headbang once is it is that the point like it's supposed to be there I'm so confused but I'm starting to like it I'm like wait I would listen to this hundred percent I oh okay <laughs> I don't fucking understand, but I'm like, okay. I'm like, it's it's catchy, it's catchy. <laughs> so pretty when that comes in I'm like fine <laughs> Fucking catchy. I, I, uh, give me a second. <laughs> How old is Baby Metal? Hmm. The group consists of 18 year old Suzuka, aka Sue Metal, 16 year old Yui, and 16 year old Moa. Okay, so they are young, but not as young as I thought. I genuinely thought they were like 12 year olds, and I was like, what is the label making these 12 year olds do? But it confuses me so much because it goes so hard, but the vocals are so like da 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 da. But I'm like, I would fucking blast this in my car and sing along. I have no idea what the fuck they're saying, which by the way, what are they saying? Let me look up the lyrics. I'm so confused. <laughs> Check it out, chocolate. Can I have a bit of chocolate? But my weight worries me a bit these days. Oh. However, chocolate can have a bit of chocolate, but wait a while. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I, if I heard that as a 16-year-old and I could have understood it, like I, I understood Japanese, I would really love that. Okay. Wait, guys. <laughs> guys, look at the... Look at these lyrics. This is the most confusing band I have ever listened to. <laughs> huh. What do I think about this? I am just so fucking confused. I need to listen to more because I'm very disappointed that they don't actually scream at all, but I also like that they don't scream because it has such really intense contrast of the track is nothing like their vocals. Like it's so bubble kawaii. That's what it said. It's supposed to be kawaii, kawaii metal. So that's, they're creating a new genre. Okay. I admire the innovation. Although it's a little confusing, I admire they're actually creating something new because, you know, metal, there's been screams all along. They've been singing about heavy shit all along. Kawaii metal has cute vocals, cute girls, and cute lyrics, along with really heavy guitar and drums. Like, the guitar went hard. It was like classic thrashy metal guitar. Also, I feel like an important thing in like heavy music is authenticity. So I'm wondering, do these girls, are they wanting to make this kind of music? Are they into heavy stuff? Or is the label like forcing them to? I need to know all about baby metal now. I need to react to their other songs now because I am so flabbergasted. I'm so intrigued. I'm impressed. I'm very confused still and I'm not sure how I feel. But I know that I would blast that shit for sure. I would still be confused while listening, but... <laughs> oh my god, I have so many questions! I will say, like I said, the innovation is really impressive. Like, there was 45 seconds of heavy metal intro, and then it goes... Okay, it's fucking catchy! Okay. 
I'm gonna need y'all to answer questions. Give me more info, please. And please tell me what to react to next. Do they have heavier songs? Do they ever scream in songs? I am, I'm hooked. I'm very intrigued. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video, you little cutie patootie. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, please let me know what I should react to next. And don't forget to go check out Hot Mess. I would really appreciate it and think you might like it. I'm gonna listen to this song on repeat. And probably I'm gonna end up being a big fan. That their shows, honestly, would probably be so fucking fun. Like the pop element and the heavy stuff. Dude, that's really cool. And also, you know what's really cool? <laughs> the sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. So let me tell you about them really quick before I end this video. Cammy? Why thank you, Cammy. So Squarespace. Squarespace is a powerful and easy to use platform for making websites. So for example, say I wanted to make a website to tell the whole world, hey, my new song Hot Mess is out. I could do it easily on Squarespace and add so many different things to my website. Like for example, say I wanted to make a community on my website. Well, Squarespace actually has an option where you can put comments directly on your website. And you can reply to your comments. And you can like the comments. So you can have a full community on your website. And say on my website I wanted to have blog posts talking about how much of a hot mess I am. Well, Squarespace has powerful blogging tools that allows you to categorize, share, and schedule your posts. And they even have the option for gated members only content. So say I only wanted to share my hot mess blog with people that also identify as a hot mess, I could do that. I can also manage members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights. And say I change my mind and I'm like, I don't want this to be a blog. I actually want to sell things. Well, Squarespace actually has a bunch of e-commerce tools as well. Tools that help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, and even shipping products all across the globe. And most importantly for us social media girlies, you can share your social media posts directly on your website love to hear it. So if you're looking to build a website, whether it's a blog or to sell stuff or just be cool, you can actually go to squarespace.com to get a free trial. And then once you're ready to make your website live, you can go to squarespace.com slash Cami Petten to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or a website. So again, thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Thank you, you little cutie patootie for watching it. And uh, I am really excited to delve more into baby metal. Very, very interested. I have not found an artist band that has intrigued me so much in a while. So I'm very curious. Um, but yeah, love you guys. Bye. Don't think I do so successfully. My friends still saying I need help.